My name is Dante with Black Film and TV. Hey, Dante. Tyler. How are you, Tyler? I'm doing well. I'm trying to stay warm out here. How you doing? Are you in New York? Oh, yeah. We're in NYC right now. Oh, it's cold. Welcome. welcome. Oh, it's brick out here. <laughs> so... <laughs> Today, I have Tyler Lepley from Amazon Prime's newest installment, Harlem. How are you today? I'm doing good. Good. Thank you. So obviously in the show, they make it seem as if 30s were supposed to have it all figured out. So what have you learned in your 20s that you would not do in your 30s? Um, play it safe. You know, that's probably something that I would, if I could go back. So I'm 34 right now. Um, and I think in my twenties, there was an, I mean, there was an aspect of me that was reckless enough to figure out who I was, but there was a side, you know, I wish I could be, you know, maybe not so much reckless, but like, I would take more chances. I would, I would, you know, turn over every single rock and figure out what it is I'm good at, what I'm not, you know, where's my passion where, you know, I'm trying to figure myself out. I feel like, um, you know, if we just, we just stay inside the box, you know, we go to school and I, and I, and I graduated from college too. So it's not like, I'm not telling people not to go to school, but it's like, I feel like life is set up for us to be in this box. And in the twenties, you know, whether you go to grad school and whatnot, you, you know, you're blinking, you're like, you're 28 and you're still inside this box. You know, I would, you know, my, my two cents would be to get outside the box as, as early as you can. So you can yeah. figure yourself out. A hundred percent. And yeah. also within the show, um, I think that it showcases very much how women need to take the lead, but also may face some consequences when taking the lead in the dating realm. So I have to ask you as Tyler, do you find yourself more attracted to women who take the lead on their lives or more women who are willing to be led? You know, I've, I've found that when you're handling your business the right way, you know, a strong woman has no problem having you take the lead. So it's like, you know, it's this, it's this tricky dynamic where you guys, you know, at least in my experience, you know, we, and I can take my relationship now that I'm in right now as a, as a perfect example. It's like, you know, it works because, you know, we know, <clears throat> you know, we know when to put our foot down and when to listen, you know, we know when to talk. We also know when to listen. We know when to, um, you know, we know when to push and when to pull, if you will. It's kind of like, it's almost like a dance, you know? So I feel like you get the best results when you, when you're a bit more balanced, you know, mm -hmm. when it's time for me to speak and when it's time for me to tell, you know, tell her what's going on, how I feel, how I think should, things should be, should be going, you know, it's time for that. And on the flip side, there's, there's, you know, she's, she's strong too. And when it's time to listen, you know, I need to take heed and, and figure out what's going on so that we can work together. Mm -hmm. And do you see any similarities or differences when you read the script as you playing Ian? Yeah. Yeah. There was definitely similarities. I, I would say the biggest us uh, the biggest similarity between Ian and myself is our ability to you know chase something that we've never seen to bring the life that we've always wanted you know he leaves Harlem to go to Paris you know I left Philly to go to LA you know and then you know five years later for him he comes back as this very talented gifted chef bringing a piece of Paris back to Harlem you know for me I come back 10 years later speaking to you about what that journey was like too so that's probably the biggest similarity Yes. And my last question for you is, do you feel that sometimes chasing dreams can ruin a relationship such as the one that Ian and Camille had? It can, it, you know, in some cases it definitely can. Um, you know, you got to, it's a, it's a tricky thing because you got to figure out what your priority is first. You know, and I feel like for me, for Ian, for Camille, you know, for a lot of us out there, um, I'm not going to be able to make someone else happy unless until I make myself happy. Um, and then, you know, in a strange way, things come back around if they're meant to be, you know? So like, you know, five years later, by chance, he bumps back into Camille. Um, you know, even in my relationship, I feel like, you know, had this been five years ago, even a few years ago, I don't know if it would have worked. It works great right now because, you know, we've been through enough experiences and conflicts to know what makes us happy. Now we make each other happy. Beautiful response. Thank you so much, Tyler. Yeah. Congratulations on the show. It is so good. Thank and thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you too.